let's go over the product search inside of Bookbolt. So the first thing you're going to do is click on products. You see, I already have this open. You'll be able to search products by keyword. Okay, you can search in the title only. So if the keyword shows up in the title of the book you're looking for, as well as select a category. Now currently we have a few categories in here, notebooks, journals, music sheets, calendars, and planners. We're going to stick with notebooks for now and let's enter a keyword of say dog. And we want the, the search of dog, the keyword dog to be in the title only. And then we will click search. Give it a few seconds for it to bring back the results and then we will go from there. All right, as you can see, it has brought back the results. Now the product search inside of Bookbowl is going to bring back results for the keyword that you entered in order of the best sellers first and then it's going to go down the list. So as you see it's brought back 187 results. This is going to be the best sellers for that keyword. It's going to show you some information on the lowest price books, the highest price books, and the average price. Make sure you take a look at the average price here because this is going to be typically where I will place my books for sale at this price. It's going to give you an average best sellers rank as well as the category that we searched. Now you see that we've searched for dog here and it's going to show you before we get into the results all of the keyword counts in the books that it's brought back. Now why this is important is the keyword counts here are going to be the most used keywords in the best selling listing. So these are the keywords that got the right customer in front of the product in order for them to sell. So you can take a look at these and use these in your own listings when you're putting your books up on Amazon. Now as you scroll down here, you're going to see a lot of the books for sale. Um, it's going to show you title, author, publisher, reviews, ASIN, publication date, price, BSR, estimated monthly sales, as well as the description. Now when you go through here, there's a few things that you can do. You can either heart the item, which will add it to your favorites. This will allow you to download this list in an Excel file at a later date, as well as just revisit it when you are creating your own books. Now another thing to keep in mind when you're scrolling through these results is the best sellers rank and the estimated monthly sales. Okay, so also take a look at the price here because what you're looking for is you're looking for how people have laid their books out, what price they're selling at, and how many sales a month they are going to be getting. Now, if you're taking a look at this and you're going through, you're going to notice that, you know, dog books are a very, very hot niche. It might be a little hard to break into, but this is going to give you all the information that you need in order to validate that a niche is selling well and so you can go out and create your own unique covers as well as interiors on the KDP platform.